Alright everybody, and now here comes part 2 of my anime Blu-ray collection. Where, uh, where I last left off was, this is a zombie season 2, aka, this is the zombie of the dead. And now we're going to continue from K to V. And of course there's no Z. Anyway, let's begin. K Missing Kings. 2017 Blu-ray release from Viz. With your Shiri Sana and his pet cat, uh, Kuro. No, wait, no, wait. I meant Neko, not Kuro. DVD, Blu ray. We got some more work inside, and of course, it's a recyclable case. But you know, I don't care for um, recyclable cases, <laughs> and uh, I don't care if DVDs or Blu rays come in those. <laughs> so, in that case, I don't mind them at all. Next, we have is another Funimation Save Edition Blu ray of Carnival. 2014 Blu-ray release, 2016 reprint. And yes, justice has never been so twisted. Be My Reason, closing theme. And man, the closing theme is just amazing. I freaking love it. DVD discs are red, and the Blu-ray discs are blue. Here's one of the main characters. From what I know, one of them is voiced by um, Greg Iris. <laughs> That's him. You know, it's also known for doing Gante Garashi from Dead Man Wonderland. Alright, let's see who's that character. <gasps> oh my god, Mango was the animation studio of this. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, and it's also produced by Bandai Visual. Next up, Kingsclave, Final Fantasy 15. Watch the movie before you play the game, which you know what? I did that. Yes, I have this movie on Blu-ray, and I also have the game Final Fantasy 15 on my PlayStation 4. So in this case, it's a prequel to Final Fantasy XV. Got this for Christmas in 2016. Put expired on December 31st, 2019. And yes, the third computer animated film of uh, of Final Fantasy. There's also The Spirits Within and Advent Children. Next up, we have an Aniplex of, Amer of America Blu-ray. Kiznaver. With Katsuhiro Agata and uh, his friend with blue hair. Um, uh, Noriko, that's, um, uh, Niko, Niko Niyama, Hajime, um, where were you? I kind of forgot what their names were. Oh, and that's Chidori, that chick with red hair. She has orange hair. This dude has silver hair. And this girl has blue hair. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, there's your illustration cards. <laughs> uh, 
This is the original case itself. Disc one, which has uh, Katsuhiro Agata and uh, Noriko Sonazaki. And disc two, it's them again on a white background, black background. Except this time they're younger. And he has brown hair. Mm. Oh, you want to know what this, what this is dumped by? Produced by Crunchyroll and produced by, um, let's see, Ocean, Ocean Media in Vancouver, also did a dub of Dragon Ball Z, Bionicle, the Bionicle films, uh, let's see, Transformers Intertron, Cybertron, um, some of the Gundam series, Dot Hack Roots, <laughs> And many more. Oh. Fill me out card from Anaplex of America. No, just for the heck of it. I'm going to show you the cards. For the cast of Keys Diver. There you go. That's all of them. From this uh, 2017-2018 Blu-ray release of Keys Diver, Manaflex of America, originally released in 2016. Uh. My second Manaflex Blu-ray, next to Sword Online, Ordinal Scale, which I'll show you in part 3. Which in part 3 will be my limited editions, just so you know. And there you go. That was Key Sniper for you. Next to uh, the Conodon Collection. Features this boy suffers from crystallization from 2014. And this boy is a professional wizard. In 2016. Oh, what's this? Uh, also includes the audio drama. This boy will be called a villain. All these are both dubbed and subtitled. From Subi Yamamoto, known for doing this boy can fight aliens and this boy kind of moving. Which I'll show you later on in this part. However, they're released by Sentai Filmworks. This one is not by Sentai Filmworks. This is by um, a new company called Sound Cadence Studios, Sound Kittens, and Kumatel Films. Produced by Comix Wave Films. And I have no idea if a Volume 2 or Volume 3 would happen of the Kododon Collection. Who knows? We'll have to find out one day. Next, Lair of the Lustrous. Complete collection from Sentai Filmworks. 2019 Blu-ray. Produced by Toho. Toho Animation. And yes, I also do own the manga of Lion of the Lustrous. Oh, what the heck is this? Made in Mexico. Next up, Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky, the animation. 
tell you the truth, this is actually an ODA. Tell you what, I actually had fun watching this. I enjoyed it. But I mean, many of you people did not enjoy this, but I did though. I liked it. I thought it was worth watching. From Showcase? No, 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 no. Showgate and Falcon 2012 Blu ray. And yes, I do remember renting the DVD from my library. I ordered it too. Back in uh, March 2016. And yes, I also do have... I also do have that game on my PS3 as um, The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky SC on the PlayStation 3. Enough said. Here you have... Uh, Magical Girl Lyrical Nanoha the Movie First. 2010 Blu-ray comes in a black case. <laughs> Just like what you'd see in Star Wars The Force Awakens. Or an Ultra 4K Blu-ray case. Comes in this solid black case. They are plastic. Hard plastic. This is just your Blu-ray guide. And... Uh, disc speaking of lyrical nanoha I also have magical girl lyrical nanoha detonation 2019 blu-ray from King Records this is a J Japanese import just so you know just like the previous one I showed you Film originally released in 2018. This next one is also a Japan import. This is Magical Girl Equal Nanoha Reflection. This was originally released in 2017. So this is a 2018 Blu-ray release, once again by King Records. Far from Amazon.co.jp and not PlayAsia. See that? White Rabbit Express. And there you go. That's it for Magical Girl Lyrical, Lyrical Nanoha. Now next up, we have, from Discotech Media, it's Magic Knight Ray Earth with Hikaru Shido, Fuhuoji, and Umi Ryuzaki. Red hair, blue hair, and um, brown hair. Magic Knight Rare Earth has such an amazing opening. Originally released in 1994. From TMS Entertainment. This is a 2017 Blu-ray. Hikaru Shido. Mirizaki. Wait, no. Fuhuoji. That's Umi Ryuzaki. Karushido once again. 
um, Fuhuoji and Umi Ryuzaki. And that's these three girls right there in this reversible cover art under a shell of transparent blue, which you know what that is, right? A Blu-ray case. And there you go. That's the 2017 Blu-ray release of Magic Knight Rare, a memorial collection from Eastern Star. Next, Machia, when the promised flower blooms. When the promised flower, ah, oh, when the promised flower blooms. Wow, and yes, this film looks bloody amazing. From Shout Factory and Eleven Arts Anime Studio. Film itself is from 2018. 2019 Blu-ray. And man, I'm happy to have this on Blu-ray. Bought from Walmart. That's the Blu-ray side. And there's your DVD side. And there we go, that's Machia for you. When the promised flower blooms. Next up, originally released by ADV Films. This is Martian, Su Martian Successor to Desco. There's Ryu Hoshino, Akito Tenkawa, and Eureka. No, no, it's not to Eureka or Eureka 7. Eureka with a Y. Released by Nozomi Entertainment. 2017 Blu-ray. There's Akito, no, Akito Tinkawa. There's Eureka. Um, Akito. Um, I can't seem to remember who those characters are. Ryoshino. And Rui Hoshino once again. All the discs are Blu-ray except this one. The bonus which is a DVD. For some reason. But the rest are Blu-ray. I can tell you that too. And there you go. That's uh, more for success in your Desco. Which has um... Spike Spencer also did the voice of Shinji Ikari and Evangelion. Neon Genesis Evangelion. Um, Gita Torinizu and Mayor. Also in Bleach. Uh, and a few other animes. Next. Mary and the Witch's Flower. A Studio Ponok film. Ponok? Is that how you say it? From G Kids. From Nippon Television Studios. Digital copy code. DVD side. Blu ray side. From Universal Studios Home Entertainment. 2018 Blu ray. And yes, I do know somebody else who has this. Uh, whatever his username was. Uh, Home Media Collector 2002, whatever his username was, he had this on Blu-ray, and I also have him on, have it on Blu-ray too. Next, here's the same edition, 
released in 2015, but originally a 2009 Blu-ray of Origin Spirits of the Past. Man, I'm happy to have this on Blu-ray from Gunzo. Oh. The main character is um, Agito. Is that his name? Agito? Got from the seller import CDs back in spring 2019. And yes, that theme, um, the opening theme of this movie is just emotionally amazing. I freaking love it. Whatever it's called, um, from Kokia. Choto with Reflection. Whatever it is. Now moving on. Here we have a season one of Noragami, which has Gato. The Street God from Sochiku. Building an empire, five yen at a time. And there's this girl named Hiori. Hiori Iki. And, um, whoever this dude is, with blonde hair, can't remember his name. And yes, I bought this Blu-ray alongside with Erica Seven, Sleep Tight to Goodnight Young Lovers, The Simpsons Season 6, <laughs> D. Green Man, um, 3 and 1, Volume 3. Dragon Ball Z Viz Big Volume 7. And Odin Spear on the PlayStation 4. All from Amazon. And that's season one of Noragami for you. Next to uh, probably my most recent anime Blu-ray from Discotech Media and my only SD on Blu-ray I have. Angie Night Lamune and Forty from nineteen ninety. Yeah, this is from nineteen ninety. But I don't know what the animation studio was. To be honest, <laughs> oh, and what's this? What's impressive is how they were able to fit the entire series all on one disc, which runs for about 14 hours long. And yes, the main character, Baba, he owns a Famicom. And there you go. That's NG Night Lamune 40, which I believe that, um, did. No, not the kook. Giga Frosty. He, uh, he also has this on Blu ray, which I'm pretty damn sure of. My first anime Blu ray I bought, which is Mass Effect Paragon Lost. From BioWare, Electronic Arts, and Production IG. For the writer of Star Wars The Clone Wars and Production IG, the studio behind Ghost in the Shell. Bought from Best Buy on April 1st of 2013. Here's some um, Forever Normandy sticker. Filmy Alcor Funimation. Some code. 
DVD, Blu-ray. And by the way, just so you know, this is actually a prequel to Mass Effect 3, which is on the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. And yes, I also do have that, uh, um, the other video game based film from Electronic Arts and Bioware, also released by Funimation, and that was Dragon Age Acquisition, which I do have on DVD. And yes, I am thinking about replacing it someday with a Blu-ray copy. But, enough said. Here is Parasite, the Maxim Complete Collection. Oh, look at that alien hand, Miki. And you know who hosts it? Um, Shinichi Izumi. In this uh, science fiction horror anime. And yes, this was aired on Toonami. Just like Dead Man Wonderland was in a comic of Kill. Oh, finger blades. Eyes on top of your hands. <laughs> now that is weird. Kind of like what Daedra has from Naruto. Naruto Shippuden. Enough said about Parasite. Now moving on to Persona 4 The Animation. 2017 Blu-ray from Sentai Films and Aplex. Oh yeah, Parasite was released in 2019 on Blu-ray, the complete collection. There's Yu Norikami, um, Yosuke Hanamura, um, Chie Satanaka, and um, what's her name? Let's see. <sighs> Um, Akito, whatever her name was, um, I forget. Oh wait, no, it's Yukiko Amaki. And yes, there's also Persona 5, the animation from Anaplex of America, which I'm not sure if I should buy it, too, uh, because it's too expensive. Not sure, and um, I'm not sure about considering the Persona 3 movies. There's about four of them. Maybe. The, uh, it's a possible consideration. But now moving on. Here you have Promare. My latest anime Blu-ray release. <laughs> Next to NG Night Lamune from Eastern Star. This is Promare released by uh, G-Kids. From Trigger and X Flag. X Flag known for um, Monster Strike. And also an animation studio, too. And yes, X Flag is such a badass logo. And yes, also produced by Toho Animation. And. The famous animation studio Trigger, known for Kill a Kill, which you know, I have no interest in Kill a Kill. Mainly because I find the characters to be unappealing. And that's Ryuko, Ryuko Matoi. I just don't find her very appealing. And, um, Key Sniper, Darling of the Franks, Little Witch Academia, um, well, you know, this and that. Oh, I was speaking of Space Patrol Lubuko. And, um, a few others. There's, um, Leo Fotia and Galophimus. This dude's got blue hair. And this dude has green hair, a burnish. 
the main, the main antagonist of this movie was, um, I forget. Never mind. Enough said about Bromare. Here's Resident Evil da Damnation from 2012. Produced by Capcom. Because, you know, Biohazard is by Capcom. That's his Japanese name. The Western name is Resident Evil. This is a computer animated film, just so you know. Next, we also have another mature computer animated film. And it's once again Resident Evil, but this time, Resident Evil Degeneration. 2008 Blu-ray. Bought from Sunrise Records on July 10th, 2017, along with um, Final Fantasy VII Advent Children, complete. And there's your disc for Resident Evil Degeneration. 2008 Blu-ray. And yes, I'll consider buying um, Resident Evil Vendetta on Blu-ray someday, and quite possibly um, Star Trek Troopers Invasion or Star Trek Troopers Betrayal one day. Produced by Shinji Aramaki, known for Appleseed, Ghost of the Shell. Alright, moving on. Here we have Revolutionary Girl Utena. From Nozomi Entertainment. Blue Race at number one, released in 2017. And it's um, the Student Council Saga. Nozomi Entertainment Reply Card, associated with great stuff. Disc 1, Disc 2, and Disc 3. Sadly, the case appears to be broken on the top. Well, that's how, that's how we bought it. One of the pieces was broken. Sorry about that. And there you go. That was Blue Ray no Blu Ray set one of Revolution Girl Utina. Next up we have the Black Rose Saga of Revolution Girl Utina. Blu Ray set two from two thousand seventeen. Play card. Hmm. Well, this this part seems to be broken. No, oh well. It's not too badly broken. And lastly, here's the Apocalypse Saga of Revolution Girl Utina, Blu ray set 3.
Nose meter team room fight card. And it also features the movie, The Adolescence of Utina, which was released in 1999. And yes, there's also a Sega Saturn game of this, too. Just so you know. Just like how there is a Magic Knight Ray Earth, which I do have that game. Show you that when I do my Sega Saturn collection again. Oh, and by the way, it's the Japanese version. Not the, North, not the super duper expensive North American print from Working Designs. Enough said. Here you have ReZero. Part 2. This is a 2019 Blu ray release. From Funimation and Crunchyroll. With Subaru Natsuki and Emilia. My favorite character is Emilia. Along with um, Ram and Ram and Subaru Natsuki. I don't know, I don't know who that creepy guy is. <sighs> Next up, Sangria Undying Love. 2015 Blu-ray from Funimation and Kadansha with Rhea Sanka. You know, she dies in one episode and revived as a zombie. Pink DVD discs and lavender Blu ray discs. Oh, and that's Rhea Sanka. And there you go. Next, uh, Shocker Got No Shot of the Movie. Recently bought this on Right Stealth. Uh, not too long ago. Just came in Mexico. The Blu ray and DVD. 2016 or 2017 Blu ray release. Blu ray originally released in 2012, I think. And there you go. That's Chaku Gano no shot in the movie. Next. Shining Hearts uh, Complete Collection. Released in 2013. From Production IG. And licensed by Sentai Filmworks. <laughs> I just put it to sad for high dive. And yes, I do have that movie on Blu-ray, just so you know. Spend your summer with free anime. See you on the other side. Just like that new THX logo.
based on the video game by Sega. And enough said about Shining Hearts. And yes, that game was on PSP. Just so you know. Here you have Science the Complete Series, part of the Science Adventure series, just like Chaos and Chaos Child and Robotics Notes. <sighs> Two thousand fourteen Blu ray release, I think. Oh, damn it. DVDs are white. Blu ray discs are black. That's Kirisu Makise, and um, I forgot what that dude's name was. And yes, there's also in the movie, um, Lords of Deja Vu, which I might consider buying on Blu-ray one day. Next up we have my only One Piece Blu-ray, which is Strong World, a One Piece film. 2013 Blu-ray. Tommy Alcar from Funimation. DVD. And uh, here's your Blu-ray. Both discs are literally the same, the same art, too. almost. Well, except for the DVD and Blu-ray logos. And here you have some nice artwork inside. Just so you know, I bought this alongside with C Control back on January 21st, 2017 at HMV before it closed down. My last Blu-ray I bought, I bought from there, which is an anime Blu-ray, which was The Empire of Corpses. Now moving on to a Funimation Essentials release, which I recently bought, of Tales of the Abyss. The complete series with... Luke Skywalker. Oops, I meant Luke von Fabre. Luke von Faber. Released by Sunrise. You know, the famous animation studio known for Gundam, Kikaishi, um, Tiger and Bunny, Inuyasha, Love Live, you know. Isn't that? <sighs> Originally a 2018 Blu-ray, but a 2020 reprint. We have Terry Grant and uh, Luke von Fabre. Or should I say Luke Ainsworth in Tales of the Tales of the Crypt. Oops, Tales of the Abyss. And no, it's not the 1989 movie The Abyss. And yes, I. Do you happen to own the game of it on my PlayStation 2? Oh, and by the way, no English dub. Oh well. And also, it has a lack of special features. Speaking of Tales, here you have an anime classics release of Tales of Vesperia the First Strike from Bandai Visual. This is a 2012 Blu ray release. And 2016 reprint. Mm. 
And yes, this is a prequel to the game. Which the main character is Yuri Lowell and his friend Flynn. And also Princess Estelis, which she has pink hair. DVD, Blu-ray side. Here we have some vertical artwork, just like what you saw in Star Hat Quantum. Except there's the other way. And there you have it. So that is Tales of Vesperia the First Strike. Oh, and I'm not done with Tales just yet. We also have one more Tales Blu ray, which is uh, Tales of Vesperia the Cross, uh, which features Tales of Vesperia and Tales of Berseria. And in my opinion, I think Tales of Vesperia has the best cast of any Tales series. Some people may say um, Tales of Symphonia or, or Tales of the Abyss or Tales of Vesperia, but I choose Vesperia. And by the way, I fucking loved it. Season 1, Black Discs. And Season 2, White Discs. <laughs> I also do have the game on my PS3 and uh, the manga of it too, from Seven Seas Entertainment. And I also have Tales of Berseria the manga too, and that was released by um, Kodansha. Next is technically not an anime, but I just included it in there anyway of Thor Tales of Asgard. 2010 Blu-ray, or was it 2011 Blu-ray? Hmm. Look for Maple Pictures. No, wait, 2009 Blu-ray. Wait, no. Oh, yeah, 2011 Blu-ray. Probably my only Maple F Pictures Blu-ray. Oh wait, I have Stargate. So I only have two Maple Pictures Blu-rays. And there you go. That is Thor, Tales of Asgard. Now moving on to the Testament Assist New Devil Season 1 with Neo Narse and Basar Tojo. And he's a badass. From Kanokawa. And yes, there's a lot of boobs in this. Uh, seeing those. Uh, Large busts uh, uncovered and showing a bunch of nipples. Uh. Mio and Bossa on both discs. Almost the same cover arts. Uh. Mio on disc one and Bossa on disc two. And that's season one of Testament is New Devil. Speaking of Testament is New Devil, here is season two, aka the Testament is New Devil burst. 
from 2015, and then to, just like the other one, which was also from 2015. This one came out later, and that one came out earlier in 2015. <sighs> And yes, just so you know, there's a a a, a succubus in this, or um, succubus. And that's um, Maria, just so you know. And no, it's not not Mio. Here is Kurumi. No, no, it's not Kurumi Tokisagi from Day Alive. That girl with black hair and has that. Clock eye and man, she's fucking crazy. Not that one. Uh, I forgot what her name was. Uh, Maria. That's Yuki. Yuki has blue hair. Mio has red hair. Maria has silver hair. And uh, Basra has brown hair. And there you go. That's Testament Assist New Devil Season 2 for ya. Next one is actually not an anime, but I, sh but I decided to show it anyway. Here's Transformers Prime, Beast Hunters, Predacons Rising. 2013 Blu-ray from Shout Factory. And yes, uh, both the DVD and Blu-ray discs are exactly the same cover arts. Well, except for the lo for these two logos, uh, the Blu-ray Region A and Region One and DVD logo. And there you go. That is Transformers Prime, Beast Hunters, Predacons Rising. Next up, an anime I really enjoyed, which is Tr Trickster. Which has um, Yoshio Kobayashi and um, Kinsuke, Kinsuke Hanamura. This is a 2018 Blu-ray release. This anime from 2016. And yes, there's also another show called Trickster. And you, by the way, that's a 2020 Canadian version. This is the Japanese version. The animated Japanese one. Compared to the, the new television drama on CBC known as Trickster. Not to be confused with that one. All Blu-ray discs are blue. And yes, I also do know another character named Noro. It's that little girl. Which has now. Oh. And there you go. That is Trickster for you. The complete series. Funimation. Next up we have Tokyo Ghoul from the creator um, Ken. What was his name again? Uh, 
statements. Let's, let me check for a sec. Oh, Siri Easy Die. There we go. It's 2015 Blu ray release of Tokyo Ghoul Season 1. And yes, this was aired on Toonami on Adult Swim back in March of 2017. March 25th to be exact. I think Kaneki, who you, who you know, becomes sensitive to almost everything except for coffee beans. Man, wouldn't it suck to be sensitive to everything? And all you can eat is coffee, coffee beans and uh, human flesh. I wonder, what's it like being a ghoul? Where all you can eat is just human flesh and coffee beans. The only two things that taste good good to you. While well, everything tastes like crap. Speaking of Tokyo Ghoul, here's season two, which is Tokyo Ghoul VA. Once again, has King Kaneki. Hunger kills. Hungry for human flesh. <laughs> and yes, he has silver hair. King Kaneki. Has black hair slash silver hair. And yes, the first Funimation Blu ray to use this new Funimation logo. But however, it's not shown. It wasn't shown until later on. And now, as I promised earlier, from the creator So Subia Moto, here it is. This one is by Aliens. 2012 Blu ray. Sentai Filmworks and Comix Way Films. Main protagonist is, is Kakashi. And no, it's not Kakashi from Naruto. It's Kakashi from this book of like Aliens with, um, um, Arikawa. Originally released in 2011. And yes, also features one of Subi Yamamoto's earlier works, which are shown in this Blu-ray, also on DVD. Speaking of Subi Yamamoto, here is uh, this boy called a Merman, which has Isaki. But you know, he freaks out, uh, spoiler alert, uh, whenever he's eating... Isaki. Now that's cannibalism. It explains why it's TVMA D. Twenty thirteen Blu ray. Also a DVD. And now down to the final two anime Blu-ray Blu-rays that I have and I'm gonna show you for this part in part two. Here you have Unbreakable Machine Doll with uh, Yaya and Ra Rising. A Funimation Save Edition from Katokawa. DVD, purple, Blu-ray discs, gold. And what was interesting about uh, Unbreakable Machine Doll, I actually liked it, but uh, the ending was a bit disappointing because he never fought his brother. 
spoiler alert. And yes, it's 2.5D. Almost the feel of 3D. And now for my final anime Blu-ray, which I'm going to show you in this part, which is... The Vision of Escaflown. 2018 Blu-ray release, originally released in 2016. It has parts 1 and 2. The main protagonist is Hitomi Konzaki. Yes, this, uh, yes, the Vision of Escaflown was originally aired on Fox Kids and YTV. And that was the edited version. And yes, there's also the movie of it, which I believe was aired on Adult Swim one time in like 2004 or 2005. Released by Sunrise, uh, a famous animation studio, which you know, known for Gundam. Originally released by Bandai Entertainment. And there you have it. That's the vision of Escafoni. Anyway, that'll do it for part two of my anime Blu-ray collection. And I'll catch you all in part three of my anime Blu-ray collection. In that part, I'll show you my limited editions. Well, see you then. Ta-ta!